I plug on the speed dial. I live my life fast, my foot on the gas, I live what I dream now. And you mad cause I brag, I go get the bag, they know I'm a cash cow. Fuck my haters, I ball out. Got the money, no need to clout. Hey, how's it guys? Ninja Cat, welcome back to another video. And today, I'm gonna to be going over every single update that was added in the most recent patch notes for a watch. Because two or three heroes may or may not have gotten a pretty noticeable nerf, and it sparked a big debate in the community because it just changed up some of their play styles. So I'm gonna be going over every single update that you need to know about, also about the debate in the community and the play new play styles of these heroes. Because believe me, these play styles have changed a little, and people are debating over you know what it'll look like. So I'm going to go over everything you need to know in this video. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as it helps me out a lot. And be sure to join that Discord server, the link is in the description below. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Before we do start this video though, I want to do a quick shout out to someone in this server that we made for just my teammates and friends. Uh, this guy actually gave me uh, this sick ninja cat shirt for my birthday. And I promised I would shout him out because this is honestly a really sick ninja cat shirt. I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, the artwork on this is amazing. So shout out to this guy on my server. Moving on to probably the most debated thing in the community right now, and you probably guessed it, the Kiriko nerf. Now as a Kiriko main, uh, I have a lot of opinions on this, and I have a lot of, you know, you could call solutions for this. So stick around, alright? Okay, so, as you guys might know, Kiriko is the best support right now, and she has the fastest healing, because, you know, she has a healing rate of 76 HP per second, right? But the projectiles, um, just a side note, projectiles do travel a bit slow, so compared to Mercy and, you know, Moira, there could be, you know, this is debatable. But anyways, so speaking of the healing, Kiriko did get a nerf, a slight, you know, almost unnoticeable nerf in the healing. And basically, if I do this, you can see that you have to wait a full second now before you can send another set of Taliban under teammate. So before, it used to be... 85 milliseconds before you can send another set of talent. Now it's a full second, so there's a 15 millisecond, you know, addition to, you know, the time. So 15 milliseconds isn't really a big difference, but people in the community have been saying that they've been, you know, getting flamed by tanks because they're not healing as fast, you know, as before. But honestly, I don't see why that would happen because, you know, it shouldn't be that big of a difference. You know, again, it's 15 milliseconds, right? So. This begs the question, is this nerf necessary? Because it's not about like how broken, you know, Kiriko is. It's it's about like like you know how useful this nerf is. So like, does it really make a difference? It really doesn't, right? So people have been saying this nerf was completely pointless and you know they should either you know remove this nerf or they should come up with something else. But the thing is, Kiriko can't, in my opinion, can't be nerfed anymore because uh, the, probably the most requested nerf was the Suzu because, well, you can probably tell why. The Suzu can, you know, counter ults. It has a 15 second cooldown. It lasts for one whole second, even though that's not a lot. Um, it can also cleanse effects, which makes Ana useless, as, you know, some of my friends have mentioned. It can also, you know, heal for 50 HP, which is quick healing and could also, you know, just, yeah, it's just really kind of broken. But can you really nerf this Suzu a bit more? I don't think so, because if you compare, you know, this uh, one second immortality thing to like, say, Baptiste's immortality field, as some of my friends have mentioned, Baptiste has a 25 second cooldown on his immortality field. But people have been saying like, you know, why is that? You know, why is it so long compared to the Suzu? Well, but like, there's a pretty big, you know, reason for that. Baptiste's immortality field can technically last longer for uh, than the Suzu if you place it right. I know it can get destroyed, but it, if you place it around the walls, there's a big field that like goes around it, right? As shown on the screen right now. So you can put it behind a wall and still shoot, you know, in your immortality field while the thing is, you know, being, you know, safe behind the wall. Obviously, it'll run out soon, but you can see now that the immortality field can, you know, be more useful than a Suzu in the right situation and with right placement. So. I don't see, you know, what you would do to, like, nerf this Suzu a bit more because, like you know, 15 second cooldown is, you know, uh, pretty long and, you know, it's reasonable for such an ability like that. And a one second, uh, you know, one second duration of immortality seems about right. And, you know, yeah, Kiriko's just, you know, it's, he's not too broken because you can counter the Suzu uh, in a way, like, you know, where you can bait, bait out the enemy Suzu. And what I mean by that is... Most people, if you're if Kiriko players out there, you guys would, you know, want only want to use your Suzu in like 
times when your team is in, the, in like absolute danger. Like when your whole team is anti healed and they're like really low on HP and you know the enemies are about to make a uh, you know make a big push or you're getting hammered down by bullets or anything, then you want to use your Suzu, right? When your team's in danger or when you know uh, most if not all of your teammates are low, then you want to do it, right? Or if someone's about to ult, that's probably the you know one big reason when you want the Suzu. So if you want to successfully counter the Suzu, all you have to do is just get them low or put anti-heal on a lot of the teammates and get them low after that and after that you can just ult and if, if you bail out the super, uh, not the super, the suzu yeah, you can just ult and then you know, they can't counter it with the suzu, right? so this way, Kiriko is technically balanced and so there, like this debate has been going on for uh, in the community for a bit and people have been requesting you know, nerfs for the suzu but as, as I just said right now, it's not really necessary and you know, with this new nerf for Kiriko, uh, it's not really a noticeable, you know, change or difference or anything. So, I've probably answered like the biggest question right now in the community, and you know, I hope this solves the debate a little. Kiriko's nerf wasn't really a big change, so, you know, there are possible solutions to this, like I mentioned. Uh, I don't really know if you can nerf Kiriko a bit more, uh, maybe the damage, and Honestly, the healing is balanced because the projectiles are, again, slow. So, everything cancels out in a way. Everything cancels out, and everything's balanced. Honestly, yeah, I guess Blizzard's just testing out these new nerfs, and I hope they, you know, come up with a, you know, a better solution in the next patch notes. So, um, only time to tell. And, um, last thing, uh, the playstyle for Kiriko. Now, uh, there's, you know, a, a 15 millisecond delay in this, you know, healing reload speed, right? People have been saying in the community, oh, we're gonna play more DPS now because, you know, there's technically slower healing and I'm, I don't want to get flamed, so why not just do some DPS? So, I don't really know how that makes sense because, like, you know, the, the amount of DPS you do right now before, uh, the amount of D DPS you did before this nerf is probably the amount of DPS you should do. Probably shouldn't do any more now because your healing is slower. So yeah, just just something to think about. Like I don't down, know how please. that makes sense or like who came up with the idea at first, but like I don't think since you heal slower now, you should do a bit more DPS. But yeah, I think if anything, you want to stay the same at your DPS rate. I don't think you have to like do a less DPS, but certainly yeah, you know, be careful with like when you're healing and when you're not, or you know, yeah, just be around and just you know, be aware of your surroundings and be around your teammates. And you know, just keep an eye on everyone's health bars once in a while, and you know, don't de uh, don't get carried away from DPS, and don't listen to that the advice that you know people say about you know do more DPS with this update or something like that. Okay, so one last item for, that I forgot to add for the Kiriko part of this update is that people are also saying that Kitsune also just makes people you know it just makes everyone broken, especially Roadhog's whole hog, and you know what I think about that is like. It has to like require like the right team combo because it just, it just doesn't work well with everyone. It doesn't work well with Widow. It works well with like you know people like Orisa or Soldier, but like it doesn't work well with everyone. Which means you need the right team combo. And when an enemy you know uses the Kitsune and like you know the rest of their teammates stack all, you honestly need just need to know how to like you know retreat to the right area. And you know, in all honesty, this ult uh, for Kiriko, even with combined you know with. Roadhog or something like that. It it's not really that broken, and I don't see again. I don't see how you know this could be nerfed because you know it's just balanced. You know, you, there's you know effective counters to it. There's way to dodge. You know, there's way to dodge or you know escape from it, and it also requires a team combo. So uh, yeah, I think that's it for the patch notes updates. And um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe as well. Be sure to join that uh, Discord server, the link is in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.